But first, we begin with the Easter weekend preparations. Despite the sticker shock, the crowds are packing into stores trying to get those candy essentials and all the sweets. That's right. Let's go live now to Action News reporter Becca Henderson, live outside of a chocolate store in Old City with more. You do any shopping today, Becca? I did, John and Christy. I can't go in a chocolate store right now and not buy anything. You said the stores are packed. It's true. It's so packed in there. We had to stay outside, but I still want to show you this beautiful window display we have here. The oldest candy store in America, and people are so excited to get their Easter treats here. We have all these cases here where you can do custom assortments. Inside the oldest candy store in America. We have a variety here. Sweet Easter treats like buttercream eggs and chocolate bunnies are front and center. He's a little gentleman rabbit. This is one of the busiest weekends of the year at Shane Confectionery. And staff is hard at work turning out chocolates as they've done on Market Street since the 1860s. People come in here and they're like, I've lived in Philly 50 years and I've never been here. While the store itself pays homage to its charming history with tried and true candy making measures. What keeps customers coming back? is the product definitely recommend and then we also got the drinking chocolate back there despite prices being a bit higher than they were more than a hundred years ago we used to get price increases maybe once a year from our vendors but now we're getting them like every three or four months the inflation woes are certainly impacting the holiday the action news data journalism team found cocoa prices have soared to more than double this time last year but from candy to Easter ham, customers say they still prefer to pay up and shop small. I support small businesses 100% every chance I get. At Reading Terminal Market, Wayne Baranek was busy preparing ribs for people's Easter dinner. He appreciates the rush in the face of rising costs. This is up there. We sell like we specialize in sausage, so we're selling a lot of fresh kibasi. It's the quality customers want. Delicious. Um, 10 out of 10. And at places like Shane's, the history that keeps them coming back. I cannot believe we just accidentally found the oldest candy store in America. That is so cool. It is so cool. You guys are going to have to check it out. I mean, just just check out all these delicious options. Almond butter crunch, honeycomb, malt balls. I can't play it up enough. Still plenty of time to get your candy shopping done before Sunday, the Easter holiday. Live here in Old City, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News, John and Christy. Oh, I know exactly where I'll be stopping right after this. <laughs> Becca, thank you.